it is Victoria, long time no see. I am so excited just to kind of like explain where I've been. Today's video is going to be a talk through makeup tutorial. I'm basically going to be talking to you about like where the heck I've been, what's going on, where I'm at with YouTube, and just kind of have a heart to heart with you guys. So I'm really excited and let's just go ahead and get into the video. I am going to start off with the Benefit Pore Professional. I basically just kind of want to like catch up with you guys, tell you guys just like what's been going on with my life. I get in this bad habit. I have all these old videos to post, so I'm not posting new videos and we're just like at this weird stage. But I want to catch you up on the last couple months of my life. Girl, they've been kind of crazy. I want to start off with the end of my freshman year. Victoria ended up kind of not really falling down the stairs. Pulled ligaments in my right ankle. I 10 out of 10 would not recommend. The last couple weeks of my freshman year of college, I was in eight boots. For foundation, I'm gonna take a mix of L'Oreal True Match. I've used this stuff for years. I'm gonna be using a mix of N2 and C3. I'm gonna mix it on the back of my hand using just this little foundation brush, Real Techniques, and then I'm going to be using my Real Techniques Beauty Blender just to blend that stuff. Out. I was in a boot for five weeks total and then my family and I went on an Alaskan cruise and I posted quite a few of those videos. I will go ahead and leave that playlist um, in the link in the description box. Went on the Alaskan cruise and then after the cruise we decided to go spend time back with family. Spent a few weeks with family and then basically I had two weeks to come back and get ready to move into my first apartment. I'm a sophomore in college, so I'm actually at college right now. Um, I do not live at home. I moved far away enough to where I have to, you know, live in my own place. I go to a big university, so I was getting ready to move into my first apartment. I was in a dorm last year for my freshman year, and I ended up just deciding to move into an apartment, into my apartment, Went back home for two weeks. For my under eye concealer, I'm going to be taking Maybelline Age Rewind. The week before classes start, everyone comes back on campus. There's a whole bunch of like festive things going on just to get everyone excited for classes to start again. Roommate and I, one of my roommates, we ended up staying here during that week just to get some stuff done. And then we went to go see Charlie Pooh, which was a lot of fun. I vlogged all this and I've just been so busy, I've never been able to post, so I'm gonna put clips of what would have been in that vlog. Um, so yeah, we saw Charlie Poop, and then Victoria also did something pretty fun. Keep in mind, I'm a nerd, okay? So this is like literally the week before classes start, like the weekend before classes start, Victoria goes with her friend to see Charlie Puth, and then I also modeled for a local boutique. It's called Sassafras, and they have a whole bunch of cute stuff. I will go ahead and leave their link in the description box if you want to check out their clothes. And then I had my first week of class, and basically, you're all caught up. Now that that's blended in, I'm going to be taking this Real Techniques brush from this Real Technique brush set. If I can find the brush set, I'll just go ahead and leave it in the description box. But to set my face, I'm going to be using the Rimmel Stay Matte. This semester has definitely been really interesting. I've just kind of been, I don't know, recently I've been just kind of thinking about like YouTube and what God wants for me in this season of my life and just really following everything that he's been putting in my heart. And recently, and this has been pretty much since summertime, God has just been like calling me to talk about him in my videos. That's just something that I've never really done before, but I don't know, I just grew so much closure in my relationship with God through my first year here at college. And I feel like he's just been calling me to talk about the things that he's been showing to me in my life. Also, I finally have a public Instagram. So um, it is at Victoria Lynn YT. Definitely go ahead and follow me on Instagram because even if I'm not posting, I'm still gonna be keeping you up to date. I like to do like daily inspirational, motivational things, just random things that God is putting in my heart to talk about. I talk about, I've just kind of been thinking a lot about my career and my life goals and what God has been putting like in my heart and where he's taking me in my career. I've pretty much been doing YouTube since my junior year in high school. Recently, I don't know, YouTube is just in such a weird place right now. It's kind of, I was kind of getting confused over the summer, like, like, what are you doing with me? What do you want me to do with YouTube? And 
I'm quickly going to talk about like my career and what I'm majoring in, which is something I've never really talked about before on my channel, but I think it's important just for you guys to understand where I'm at with YouTube, and I'm just very transparent with everything. I know, I've always just been a very talkative person. I love sharing my thoughts and ideas with others, and whenever I started watching YouTube videos back when I was like, 7th or 8th grade, I started watching YouTube videos and I found Bethany Moda and I just loved her videos. I loved like all her DIY videos. I thought they were so much fun and so cute. I also loved Ritz videos and I don't know, I just felt like I had something, like I'm a very passionate person. I love certain things and I love talking about them and I get really excited and passionate about things. And I was just like, you know, this is something that maybe I want to do. It looks like fun. And to be honest, I had a lot of things to talk about that most people didn't care about. My younger sister's not really big into makeup or anything. And now she's finally starting to get into it. She wants me to like help her with these kind of things. Back then, she did it. I had all these things I want to talk about, but no one really to listen to. So I figured YouTube is great because I can talk about things that I want to talk about and help out other girls out there. So it's kind of like a win-win for me. Now I'm going to go ahead and go on with my brows. I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. I just thought it was perfect for me because I've always been this very talkative person. I love helping people. That's basically why I started YouTube. I was thinking about it for a long time. My sophomore year of high school, I just began getting really depressed. I felt like I was working so hard to get into a good college and I didn't see the end goal. And basically, I don't know, I was just starting to get like so down and so stressed out and so run down. But I have like a biggest advice of just like being happy. It's doing things that you genuinely love. It was just to a point where I was like trying so hard to do good at school that I was neglecting to take care of myself and do the things that I love and that I wanted to do. And that's pretty much what led to it. That's basically why I started YouTube and it was just such a big escape for me. And But recently, in these past couple years especially, and this is why YouTube, and I was kind of like, God, like, what do you want me to do with YouTube? I just don't know what to do anymore. Because I was starting to kind of lose sight of that. I'm using the faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. So for me, YouTube was always just a hobby. It was never a job. It was never anything that I needed to do. But basically, what I want to do with my life now and where I'm currently at with my career is I am a marketing major and I am really passionate about social media marketing, which makes a lot of sense. Like through YouTube, I think it's really cool. Influencer marketing is such a big thing right now. So I thought that, you know, I can combine like my passion of YouTube and social media and my love for helping others to help companies use social media just to, you know, help their brand. Where this starts to get a little kind of blurred lines for me is the fact that YouTube was always my passion and it was just something to help me escape from everything that I was going through. But at this point in my life, YouTube has kind of become part of my career because, you know, if I'm telling all these companies that I'm potentially going to work for that, you know, I love like social media marketing and YouTube and, you know, like influencer marketing, I kind of have to prove to them that like, yes, I take my YouTube seriously and everything like that. And unfortunately, nowadays, people look at numbers. So they're going to say, oh, you don't have this many numbers, this and that. So things are starting to get a little troublesome for me. And that's where I was just getting really confused because YouTube almost started to feel kind of like a chore. Like, I have to do this for my career. But recently, I've just been praying a lot about it. And God has just been kind of telling me, like, you know what, Victoria? Not everyone that's going into marketing does YouTube. Like, it really doesn't matter at the end of the day he's going to provide for me I'm just trying to remind myself that this is my hobby this I'm trying to separate it as much from my career as possible although I definitely want to show brands that you know I can do this I'm branding myself in this way that's basically where I'm at right now I'm using the sweet peach glow kit and I just use this for my bronzer. This thing is rusted, crusted, dusted, busted, whatever. That is basically where Victoria is at right now. Another thing that I want to update you guys on, pretty funny because I am in the process of possibly picking up an art minor because art goes really well with marketing. I want to do like advertising strategy. PR and um, stuff like that. It's very helpful and I'm already finding like in my marketing class I'm doing that I'm in right now, one of our projects, like I was in charge of coming up 
with the logo. For eyeshadows, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. Love this thing. I'm just going to be taking our orange and I'm going to use that as my transition shade. And I was like, you know, I'm doing this like logo and everything and also I have to make a lot of logos, logos for YouTube like you know I have my YouTube banner and just like making um, an e-portfolio for myself like I have to keep doing this stuff a lot and I was like you know what having like some graphic design background would definitely be helpful. I'm doing it anyways. I'm actually going to also take a bit of Rossi in it just because I'm not getting like as much brown as I want for my transition shade. I just think it's really funny because I'm not a very artistic person. I've never taken an art class, actually. Yeah, like back in elementary school, maybe like junior high school. It's been forever, and I'm not a very artistic person. I am relatively creative, though, since I do YouTube. I use PicMonkey and stuff like that to edit my YouTube thumbnails, and, you know, I do have to make thumbnails and stuff like that and logos. I'm going to take real, real guard this color right here. So I'm going to be taking anyway or like graphic design and photography classes. I'm doing art but you can like pick if you want to do like modern art or traditional art. So traditional art is going to be like you know you're drawing stuff like that. I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to be doing photography, graphic design, digital art, stuff like that. I just think like that's just kind of one of those times where God kind of shows you he has such big plans for you and plans that like we would have never imagined like if you would have told me that I would minor in art I don't know that's just crazy talk because like I said I'm not a very artistic person that's definitely my sister it's just like a big testament of you know God has such amazing plans for us plans that we would that we would have like never ever imagined and you just have to follow him and listen to him and yeah, this semester I've just been trying to kind of figure out what I want to do with my life and this is another thing when I was in high school I used to worry so much about my career and you know like being successful and I didn't want to have to worry about like money and everything which is totally rational like you know we want to establish a good career for ourselves and everything. I'm now going to take Primavera. It was so unhealthy like I was just so stressed out. I didn't take care of myself like it just was not a good time, but recently I've just kind of been praying a lot about God leading me in the direction that He wants me to go in, and I'm just so much happier. There's so much less just like worry. I don't know, I've just been really happy recently, and I think it's just because, you know, I know that God has a plan, and as long as I just kind of like go through the motions and live my life day by day, that He's gonna provide, he's going to lead me in the direction that he wants me to. So yeah, I'm using the Better Than Sex Mascara. Thanksgiving is coming up, I'm really excited. I'm going to vlog. The past couple videos I posted are old videos from my Alaska trip from this summer with my family. I'm gonna leave all those videos, um, links in the description, watch those. Um, but yeah, this video is basically just kind of like an introduction to the new content I'm gonna be putting out which is like actually up to date content. I'm actually gonna like post. Recently I've been so in love just like with getting ready for Christmas and stuff like that. And I'm just excited to start like sharing with you guys where I'm at. At this point in my life, I'm going to be vlogging because my family and I for Thanksgiving, which is like two weeks away, we are going to be going to Fredericksburg, Texas. I'm very excited. Um, and we're staying in this really cute little Airbnb. It's just gonna be a Fun, festive time. I want to talk about this. I am one of those people. I am already in the Christmas spirit. I am like my roommates and I, we've already kind of decorated for Christmas. Now I'm taking the Becca highlighter in Opal. We already started decorating for Christmas and my roommate and I, we both agree. And I talked about this in my Instagram story. So I am a college student and people are like, Victoria, why are you already decorating? Like it's so early. It's not even like Thanksgiving and you're already decorating for Christmas like girl you've got a problem that's not okay here's the thing now that I'm in college I'm one of those people that as soon as it's November 1st like it's Christmas and this is why this is a very rational decision so when you're in college you basically go home so early for the holidays like I'm pretty sure I get to go home like the 12th or something so if I wait until after Thanksgiving to decorate for Christmas like I'm only going to be able to see all my cute Christmas decorations for like two weeks. Now I'm going to finish with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I need to be careful because I have two candles right behind me and I'm sure this stuff is very flammable. So. 
For my lipstick today, I'm going to be using the Sephora Crayon Lip Pencil in Gingerbread. This just came in like a Christmas present set. But yeah, so you're only going to have like two weeks of like everything being decorated for Christmas and that's during exam and final week. So it just, it's better to just decorate now, get in the spirit now when you have a little bit of time. That is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you're excited for all the new content that I'm putting out there, make sure to give this video a big old thumbs up. Click that subscribe button if you're not already. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!